We're out here on our second morning right now and we're getting our gear set up and back out in the water. We learned a lot yesterday. And what we learned is that for the most part, the fish did not want the spinners, they wanted the spoons. We found that out by looking at our underwater footage. And the one bite that we thought we had yesterday was actually just the fish come up and looking at the flasher and the camera, then turning away and getting the hook back in his tail. So we're changing everything up. We went to all spoons and all three rods, three different colors, three different depths, three different scents, and even three different leader lengths here. We went from shorter, like this one here, it's only about three feet, down to leader lengths at about six foot. So we're trying it all. On top of that, we're gonna utilize local knowledge. We have Christian, our guide here today, who's gonna to be covering all the gear that we need, but not only that, he's gonna put us on the spot where he feels confident that we're gonna catch fish. Christian has brought his own Lawrence unit out here to make sure that we are exactly on the spot where he has the most confidence. So hopefully today, we can finally catch one of these Chinook that came from our own backyard all the way down here in Chile. So I'm gonna get this guy down here now. The, the fishing brain's going 100 miles an hour because I'm trying to think of exactly where these fish are gonna be. And if I use the knowledge that we have from fishing Oregon, like let's say, again, these are fall Chinook here in March. So we use the fisheries that we have with Buoy 10 and Astoria, and then a little bit further south down to Tillamook Bay, which this reminds me a lot of up here. It's a big tide change today. It's about 16, 18 feet. And anytime you get a big tide change like that, a lot of water moving, we want to find off channel areas. And looking at the fjord out here, it's a choke point. It's a narrow area, so there's gonna be a lot of flow coming out. The Petroway River that flows in where the fish are trying to return to to go spawn is just up here. And those fish right now, looking at the research that we did, looking at uh, satellite images, there's a huge alluvial fan, lots of sand coming out of there, so it's outgoing tide, the fish won't be up there. So it's a complete guessing game right now. We're gonna throw everything we have at them. I'm already second guessing the gear that we had tied on last night, but it's just gonna take time. And that's something that we don't have a lot of because we're just down here for a couple days, but. It's a salmon, so we should be able to catch them. Later. 